Hi there. Well, today we're going to have a look at this brand new water valve from Sonoff. And I'm going to create an automation in Home Assistant to allow us to automate garden watering using their soil sensor. So having a look at this device, as you see, you connect it to one of your outside taps and then you hook up your watering system directly to it. Um, so within Sonoff, you can link it up and have schedules or capacity based watering as well as voice control with things like Alexa. But as you know, on our channel, we always like to use Home Assistant. So having a look at this device, on the top side, we've got this screw connector that goes onto our tap, and we've got a mesh filter over there. Then if we turn it around on the front side, we've got our button, and that can be pressed either to turn it on or off manually, or by holding it down to press it to go into pairing mode. There we go. It's now in pairing mode. On the underside, we've got our outflow, which will go on our pipe out to our garden. And then this orange component is the battery holder. So inside you here we have four triple or double A batteries and a nice rubber seal to protect it from any moisture ingress. So you press that firmly and then it's all ready to go. So let us see if we can connect this water valve directly to Home Assistant via ZHA. So let's go add device. I'm going to hold the button down to push this into pairing mode around the device. And there we go. Connected pretty much immediately. That's great. There we go. We'll just put this outdoors. And there we go. We have our Zigbee valve. Now let's go and have a look and see where that is, what it looks like. Let's check here. There we go. Sonoff SV SWV. And if we move the switch, there we go. Seems to be working perfectly. Now, in order to measure the soil moisture content, I'm going to use one of these MS01 Smart Moisture Sensors from Sonoff, and this needs to be connected into one of these TH boxes, which will actually transmit the signal back to our Wi-Fi network. So as you can see, this can be hooked up to create a complete garden watering system. Now, they do also have an extension lead up to 10 meters, so that means that you can run that indoors quite easily. So I've hooked the soil sensor up to one of these. It's called a THR316 from Sonoff, and it's got a relay inside there, so you can control things directly from the sensor that's connected to this. It's connected to Wi-Fi. You can see the blue light is on, and we can use the output of the relay to control things using these screw connections down the bottom here. Um, so the sensor connects in using this little plug, um, and on the other side, obviously, we've got our soil sensor. Now, other things can also be plugged in here. Sonoff also provides this option. It's a temperature and humidity sensor that can be used as well with this device. So I've connected the sensor up to Home Assistant using the Sonoff LAN integration. Um, so we do have control of that relay over there. And as you can see, this is the measurement that's coming back from that soil sensor. So if I now go and place the soil sensor into some water, we'll see a change on the percentage there. It does call it humidity, but this is actually the reading coming back. There we go. This is a capacitive sensor, and I see that they've sealed the sensor nicely around the edges, so there won't be any faults with moisture ingress. So I've now created an automation. It looks at that sensor, and the moment it goes below 20, it will turn on the Sonoff valve via the Zigbee connection. It will water for 30 minutes, and then it will turn it off again. So really simple. You could do something much more involved using weather and all sorts of things, but that's a start for you. Well, that's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you do, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.